Oh, baby, what is you doing? Well, the Vikings players are on a bye, but Rick Spielman is not. So he goes out and claims former Lions running back Amir Abdullah. Now, I'm not sure why, but hey, let's talk about why. and start about the positives of this pickup. Uh, the Vikings need a returner, and that's why Abdullah has been okay at in his time in Detroit. He in his uh, three, see, in 2015, 2017, and 2018 when he had returns, uh, he's had 49 in that time for 1,300 yards, had long of 104, not a touchdown in that time, but the Vikings have been really rough in the return game, so Abdullah gives us a little bit of punch back there to put out there, so he could potentially be a long-term uh, kick returner. And also, the guy is a running back, and he has definitely potentially, he was a second-round pick with first-round talent uh, in his four years in Detroit. He's, he's at, he played in 35 games, guy had 327 attempts for 1,200 yards, a 3.8 average, a long, only a long of 36 in that time, a little bit disappointing, uh, but, uh, and six touchdowns, so not mine blowing, but I see this as a potential long-term backup for Dalvin Cook. Uh, Amir Adula is projected to be really good in a run zone scheme, so and when the Vikings do these zone runs, uh, this is what Amir Adul is really good at, this could be a change of scenery, and could get those numbers up higher, and if Dalvin gets hurt like he has been throughout his career thus far, Abdullah could step in and be an okay backup, assuming Latavius is gone, and Mike Boone doesn't take a big step up. And what this also means on, on the other side of Amir Abdullah, Rock Thomas, Probably not on the roster for the rest of the year. Either that means he'll be put on the IR because he's been dealing with an injury, or the Vikings will just release him and hopefully he can get on another team because as we saw in preseason, he looked really good, but we haven't seen a whole lot of it thus far in the regular season. Uh, so, uh, we get Abdullah. I, unfortunately, his receiving stats aren't really good, but to be fair, in Detroit, theoretically, was there a receiving back and he would get almost all the receptions that they're going to throw to running back, it will be theoretic, but in the 35 games, only 57 receptions, a little over a reception a game for on 80 targets, which is pretty horrible for a running back, uh, 420 yards, so that shows what the mindset he was in, and only three receiving touchdowns, so nine touchdowns in four years total is pretty bad for uh, basically the starting running back of Detroit. Uh, so there, there's the halfway positive things. The bad things is, of course, losing Rock Thomas might be bad because he might be a better uh, option long term than Abdullah. Uh, but he fumbles the ball like crazy. He's got six rushing fumbles in his career. That is just too much. The Vikings just got done uh, with the Adrian Peterson fiasco. So... If he gets a couple of carries a game and fumbles one of them, this, I can see this coming back and bite us. He's just kind of fizzled out. 3.8 career yards per average, if that doesn't improve, is pretty bad. So, uh, this is a tough pill to swallow, but hopefully he comes in as a tough contributor right away. Uh, we need to get this fumbling under control, but we saw it with Kirk Cousins. Some, what he does in the past for these veteran players, what they do in the past, will still continue to haunt them. Uh, coaching won't change that, especially not overnight. But maybe this new system, maybe we have the Vikings have a better uh, run zone offensive line. The the coaches scheme it better than the Lions did, which would make sense because the Lions have been historically bad at running the football. So maybe this could be a career resurgence for Abdullah. We can hope. Uh, will we will we see him get many carries this year? I don't think so. Uh, I would say may, probably less than ten carries uh, in Minnesota. I th still think it's going to be Dalvin, Latavius, and Mike Boone. If one of those three gets hurt, maybe we'll see a little bit of Abdullah. But hey, Mike Boone's going to have a hard time getting carries if we have a healthy Dalvin Cook. Hell, Latavius Murray will have a hard time getting carries. Let's be honest with ourselves. So Abdullah will probably be the kick returner the rest of the year. So hopefully he doesn't mess that up. Uh, but or 
let's be positive. Hopefully he can take one to the house because, to be honest, I don't think he can be any worse than the guys we've had back there this year. Uh, this is a one-year experimental thing. Let's see how it works out. It can't really hurt us. Maybe it could be a long-term backup to Dalvin. Let's see. But give me your thoughts in the comments. And we'll see you guys in the next Josie Vikings video. And I should have some cool stuff for you coming this weekend. See you guys then.